Hello, great that you could join me today. Have you ever felt like you've lost something? Um, you've got your keys, got your wallet, got your phone. Something's missing, something's gone astray. Perhaps it's your peace. Have you ever had that feeling uh, where life maybe has got busy or you've been a bit stressed out for a little while and you've thought, I just don't feel my peace. I don't feel peaceful in my spirit very much at the moment. Or perhaps you've been feeling like that for a little while. How do we keep our peace? That's an interesting question. And uh, there's a few Bible verses that might be helpful for us in this. Firstly, John 14, 27. Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace, I give you, not as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. These are imperative statements. These are things that we are to not allow us to do ourselves to do. I know it's easier said than done. Um, but it's something that we may need to little, put a little bit of effort to, to keep. Psalm 34, 14 says, search for peace and work to maintain it. That's the New Living Translation, which is an interesting uh, translation of that scripture. Work to maintain peace. That's, that's strange, isn't it? You know, you think of peace as something, well, if I just have a rest, I just uh, switch off, then I'll feel peaceful. But it's not how we maintain or keep uh, God's peace. The situations change in our life. Our work, uh, our, the demands on our time become busier and uh, we get stressed out at times. And after sometimes it might be a stressful situation happens, uh, a troubling situation happens, and you can feel that your peace seems to have gone and you think, I'll just get past this situation and I can then try and get my peace back. I'll try and get my mind right and uh, try and pray and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that's not necessarily uh, God's intention for us. God's intention for us is that we remain peaceful. We don't get stressed out. When Jesus was in the boat with his disciples, he um, rebuked them for getting stressed out. And it was a very stressful situation. They were going to drown. But he rebuked them. Because in the midst, even in, in, in times of trouble, we need to trust God. We need to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. I know it's sometimes easier said than done. But we need to take God's word quite seriously in these things. As we, uh, as Christians, we have an enemy, of course, who knows particular things. He can tailor make uh, situations to happen which, which will rob us of our peace. He, he knows what's going to affect you more than somebody else and then he will attack another Christian a different way. It's tailor-made and it, it might be um, when you're tired, it might be when work is increased, it might be you have fears around health or whatever it is, but it's a tailor-made thing that comes and after a time you should be able to recognise it and deal with it. Um, not so long ago, I uh, got in the habit of parking my work vehicle right outside my house, and uh, it was really convenient for me. It was right there, I could just bring my tools and all the stuff I needed straight into the vehicle. And then I found myself coming home from work uh, on other occasions, and somebody, God forbid, was parked in my space. And it was unbelievable how it made me feel. It just changed my emotions. I started to get annoyed at my neighbours who would park outside my house. How dare they? <laughs> and it's crazy when I think about it. And I had to, I had to recognise how my peace was leaving me, how I was feeling stressed about my neighbours and now I deliberately park my car around the corner. And even at times I can feel uh, 
there's a particular space that I might usually park in and if somebody's parked in that space around the corner I'll get stressed out over that. <laughs> so you need to recognize these little things that are sometimes so stupid that they can cause you to lose your peace. Jesus gave you his peace and we need to work out what it is that is taking our peace away. Is it something we need to change in our own heart? Is there an anxiety I need to cast onto God? Is there something I need to address? Paul says, live in peace, and then the God of love, in brackets, who is the source of affection, goodwill, and benevolence towards men, and the author and promoter of peace, will be with you. So in the middle of life storms, you can be anchored by God's peace. Psalm 34, 14, the Amplified Version says, you must seek, inquire for, crave, and pursue peace. Go after it. So Jesus left you his peace. If you've lost your peace today, go after it and live in the fullness of it.